What's up, insiders? Deuces Jacket, Vaping Insider. Today, I got a new sub-ohm tank for you. This one's a little different. It's on the low wattage side. We're talking about the Inikin Zenith Pro. This is a collaboration between Inikin, Phil Basardo, and Dimitri the Vaping Greek. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. Check that out, huh? Kind of nice. Look at that. I like the clean stainless steel look. Let's put it on deck for a second and go over the rest of the contents. Also included in the kit, you're going to get a quick start guide, a little note from Phil and Dimitri. You're going to get this baggie of goodies that we're going to go over in a second. And you're going to get this spare coil, which we'll go over in more detail as well. Let's go over our baggie of goodies first. We're going to tear it open just like so. And look at this, huh? You get a spare glass with a Zenith tank. That's kind of different. I know a lot of people were bitching and moaning that you couldn't replace the glass in the original Zenith. So this one you can, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. You also get some spare O-rings, and you get this black mouth-to-lung drip tip. All right, we're going to keep that on the side for now. The other thing you get in the bag of goodies is you get this different colored beauty ring, and I'll show you how to install that when I show you how the glass comes out. Now, here is the spare coil. This is the 1.2 ohm Canthal coil. You can see, good for 10 to 14 watts. This is the Z coil. By the way, all the other non-pro Zenith coils are backwards compatible to this tank, so that's kind of nice if you have a regular Zenith coil, a non-pro Zenith coil that you like, you'll be able to use it in this tank. Let's get on to the tank. Check out that nice drip tip. I'm kind of digging that. 510 mouth to lung style drip tip. All right. Really, really nice. I'm going to leave that one. Here is your fill port right here. Nice, smooth machining. It's got stoppers. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't go around all the way. Nice big fill port. Sometimes the drip tip may get in the way. You just pop it out and you'll have no issues. Okay. Now, you can see, like the regular Zenith, it's got that kind of cage around it, right? A little bit of branding, Zenith Pro. That's how you open and close it right there, giving you directions with the arrow. This also has juice flow control. So when you pull the coil out, you can turn the tank upside down with the base off and juice will not run out. So that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Here is that beauty ring that we're going to be able to replace. You can see it's got some Inican branding on it. Bottom airflow. Check out that airflow, right? So look at this. You got six mouth-to-lung air holes that you can cut down one at a time. That's awesome, okay? And then if you want to do DL, you can just leave this slot wide open. Or if you want to, like, have a seventh hole, you can close it a little bit just like that, Right? You can, you can really dial in your mouth-to-lung or restrictive DL hit with this. Really, really nice job on the airflow. Check out the bottom of the tank. You can see it says P. Basardo and the Vaping Greek. Gold-plated 510, insulator ring around it. 510 threading is gold-plated on this coil. The reason I say that is because, as you can see with the coil that was spare in the box, this one is gold-plated, this one is not. The 510 is actually attached to the coil, so just keep that in mind. Now, you want to change the coil? Very simple, like every other sub-ohm tank. Just take the base off. By the way, threading, super, super smooth. Nice job with that. Coil pops up. When the coil pops up, see that? See that right there? When the coil pops up, the juice flow control kicks in, and you don't have to worry about this leaking juice even if you pull the coil out and hold it upside down, the juice will not come out. So nice job on that. Let's go over this coil. This is their brand new 1 ohm Canthal coil, good for 20 to 25 watts. Now, what you're going to get with this wide open is you're going to get a very flavorful, restricted DL hit with it wide open. And if you shut it down a little bit, you're going to get a nice, warm mouth-to-lung vape. Round wire build, no mesh here, okay? So we're going to put this on deck for a second, and let me show you the beauty ring and how it works. So this beauty ring comes off. Just unscrew it, just like that. Again, nice, nice threading. 
comes off. And now if you want, you want to have a two-toned look, you can pop the blue one on for a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of pizzazz. All right? But I'm probably going to keep the stainless steel one on there. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Now, here's the interesting part for you people that didn't like the fact that you couldn't change the glass on the original Zenith. Let me show you this. See these two little notches right here? See this notch right here? And then that notch right there? Okay? What you can do, you kind of got to get in there like girly nails, and you can pop that piece off. And what that does is that gives you access to the glass, and now you can pop the glass out if you want to. Okay? Kind of neat. I like it. Awesome, awesome job on that. Now, when you put this back, you got to make sure you line up those notches, right? And then just kind of seat it in there, pop it in there just like that. Juice we're going to be using today is Gorilla Custard. You guys know I love my custards. This is one of my favorite custards of all time. Very, very simple, yet very, very good. Of course, even with this coil, what you want to do is you want to give it a little prime. Put a couple of drops right inside there. Get it going. Get it all juiced up. Okay, and then prime these juice slots right here. Just paint them a little bit. Get them started. Okay, just like so. Now... In order to install the coil, you just pop it in there, like so, and then give it a little twist clockwise, and it'll stay in place. Okay? Once it stays in place, almost forgot, we got to put our beauty ring back on. Put that back on. Make sure it's nice and snug, because the beauty ring is what's holding this base in place. You don't want to run the tank without that, and it'll look stupid, too. Once that's all in place, you take your base and pop it right on just like that. Again, threading very smooth. Now you want to open this up right here. Since we're using a 120 bottle, we're going to take the drip tip out. And you just take your Gorilla Custard and just fill this bad boy up with some great original Gorilla Custard. Once you get it all the way to the top, slide that over. Install your drip tip. And now, we're ready to throw this thing on a mod and vape on it. Let's get after those cons and pros. We'll start off with cons first. I didn't have a lot to pick on with this tank. They did a lot of great things with this tank in its lane. My one complaint is it's very big for a tank that has a maximum wattage of 25 watts. Some people, that's going to annoy some people. That really is. People who vape at that wattage tend to want smaller atomizers. So I got to ding it for that, even though I don't think it's a big con if you vape that way. Staying in the same lane with this con, I wish, I wish Phil and Dimitri came up with a higher wattage coil, maybe something in the 40 to 50 watt range. I would have liked to have seen that. I think the tank's big enough to accommodate a coil like that. The fact that it doesn't have one like that is a little disappointing, and it's a con as far as I'm concerned. Again, on the same footing, okay, it's a very cool vape because it only has a maximum wattage with its biggest coil at 25 watts. So if you like a cool vape, you're going to like it. It's a very flavorful vape. It's a very good vape, but it's definitely on the cool side, especially if you're used to higher wattages. But that's it on the cons, man. All real nitpicky stuff. Very hard to find something wrong with this tank. Let's move on to the pros because it's got a lot of pros. First pro is going to be the build quality. Build quality on this thing is just stellar. Phil, Dimitri, and Inakin did a bang-up job. It's got some nice build quality, some nice machining to it. All the tolerances are there. Just a, a very well-done sub-ohm tank. Capacity. 5.5 ml capacity at 25 watts. You can vape on this thing all day without filling up. It's a huge pro if you vape that way. The other Zenith didn't have a replaceable glass. 
Phil and Dimitri listened to their fan base. They put a replaceable glass on this one. I like it. It's a pro. I also like the fact that it's somewhat ensconced in metal because it does give you some protection. So that's a pro as well. You get that extra beauty ring that I showed you. It's compatible with all Zenith coils. The airflow range on this one, very wide. It goes from a very restrictive DL hit to a super tight mouth to lung hit. And anywhere in between, it's very precise. You can really dial the airflow in on this one. It's a huge pro. Another pro on this one, even though it's a low wattage system that takes low wattage coils, the flavor on this thing is just banging. I got the one ohm coil in here. I got it at 25 watts, max wattage, all right? I got it on the MVP5, which again, one of my favorite mods of the year. Check it out. Very, very smooth draw. Cool vape, yet flavorful. I just really like it. That was with the, with the airflow holes just showing. If I open it up wide, check it out. Little bit more cloudage, you can see. Flavor dilutes a little bit, not much. And it's just a really nice vape. But again, very much on the cool side. So please keep that in mind. And the last pro is going to be that auto shut off thing that I showed you down low. You can actually pull your coil with a full tank of juice and not lose a drop of juice. I love it. It's a pro. Let's move on to the five star rating system. First category in our rating system is the looks department. I got to tell you, man, I love the looks of this thing. I like that whole glass metal look. I like the fact that I get some protection, but at the same time, the glass is replaceable. In the looks category, I got to give this thing a solid four. I'm just digging the looks on it. In the coil performance category, I got to give it another high score. Let me explain why I did, okay? Yes, this tank really only goes up to 25 watts with the coils that are available, but that's the lane they wanted to be in. That's the type of vaping Phil and Dimitri do. So it's hard for me to ding them on points when I know what, what was in their head when they came up with this thing. I know what type of vaping that they do. It really wouldn't be fair for me to ding them. In their range, in their genre, the coils that are for this tank are absolutely fantastic. I also like the way they made the coils plug and play and the fact that you have that auto juice shut off when you swap the coils. I got to give them a solid four for that as well. Our next category is the airflow category. The airflow on this thing, again, let me show it to you. It's super smooth. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's a very precise AFC. You can really dial it in. I just think the airflow on this is fantastic for what this tank is. In the airflow category, we're going to give it four and a half stars. Our last category is the value category. I've been seeing this thing at anywhere from $31 to $35. Yeah, for the kind of vape that it is, it's a little bit on the high side. It's not crazy high. It's a, it's a little bit above average, but you also get a little bit above average as far as the machining and the quality and the quality of the vape go. So I got to give it an average score. I'm going to give it two and a half stars. That's where this tank really lost it a little bit. If it would have been under $30, I probably would have rated it around three and a half stars. We're going to add all these stars up. We're going to get a total star count of 15. We're going to take these 15 stars. We're going to divide them by four, and we're going to get an overall score of three and three quarter stars, which is about a point and a quarter above what I consider average. I think it's a good score for a tank that is operating in a little bit of a niche market, that low wattage market, that low wattage restrictive DL you know, uh, restrictive mouth to lung market. I don't know if that's necessarily a big market, but if that's the type of vaping you do, you'd be hard pressed to find a better sub ohm tank than this. Let's go over some of the specs on the Inikin Zenith Pro sub ohm tank. 
It is made primarily of 304 stainless steel construction, 24 millimeters in diameter at the base, 5.5 ml capacity. You get two coils in the box, a 1 ohm Z coil, good for 20 to 25 watts, and a 1.2 ohm coil, good for 10 to 14 watts. Colors available are silver, gunmetal, black, and blue. Don't forget, insiders, head on over to our Facebook group. We're approaching 10,000 members there. It's a very active, very civil, very newbie-friendly group. We would love to see you there. We talk about vapes all day long. I'm in there all day long as well. I'd love to see you there. We also started a brand new Reddit sub forum under our Vaping Insider title. Make sure you go and check that out as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. Make sure now, more than ever, you keep living that vape life. We're out. Deuces.